Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm reviewing the new Urban Decay Naked Mini palettes. These are a collaboration with the Smiley company. As you can see, you got smiley faces all over. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Val. We talk beauty and hair on this channel, reviews, comparisons, tutorials, and all that. So if that sounds like fun, make sure to subscribe. Starting with packaging, clearly super cute. They always do an amazing job um, with the packaging and I love the mini format. I am all for on the go, travel friendly, dip into one palette for your look and you're good. When you open them up, you got a mix of colorful brights with neutrals in here. The only one I've tested out is Chill Happy right here. I will be doing a short for Mucho Happy. So if you're wondering how I created this look, then keep watching. I'm gonna be using one single palette for the look today. We only have two mattes to work with, so we'll see how it goes. Priming my lids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I don't really see an option for a crease color aside from this orangey shade, so that's what we're going to do. This is the shade Modern Mystic. I'm gonna use a detail brush on my lower lash line. I'm gonna go into Happy Trap, inner lid. Fingers are usually my go-to, but honestly, it's mainly because I can never find all of the brushes I need. Now I'm going into the shade Upper for the middle of my lid. I'm honestly not sure if these were meant to be used all together, but I wanted to wing it, see, see how much I can get out of this palette. Taking fire only on that edge. This palette needed a, a few more mattes, I think. Let's try and touch up a little bit of this purple. This upper shade really isn't doing much for me. It doesn't pop like I thought. I'm gonna take a blending brush with a little bit of Modern Mystic and run that through my crease. It's kind of all muddling together. There is quite a bit of kickback on, on these. I'm taking fire and I'm Blending it into that outer corner. I'm trying to build up the color a bit, but it's just weird trying to blend shimmers into the crease, honestly. But there are no rules to makeup. I'm not saying it can't be done and it can't look good. Going into Brainwave right here with a detail brush. So I'm focusing on the outer edge right to the middle. Lastly, I'm taking Bass for my inner corner and brow bone. This shade doesn't quite seem matte. It's almost like a satin. I am going to take Fire, pack this on my lower lash line, right in the inner corner. I did get quite a bit of fallout from that upper shade. I was thinking of using Brainwave as a liner on top, but since everything is shimmer, I, I just don't think it's going to translate. So I'm gonna line my upper lash line with brown because I wanna keep things soft. So here's the finished look and these are my thoughts. I just think they needed more mattes. Everything kind of meshed together in a way that none of the shades can actually pop. It just looks like an, a nice gradient, but you just need something slightly darker than Modern Mystic to be able to deepen up that outer corner so that it doesn't catch the light and it allows one of these shimmer shades to actually pop. In terms of quality, this definitely had a lot more kickback and fallout compared to my half-baked Naked Mini. This is my ride or die for daily wear. Might have to do with the fact that there's so much shimmer going on, but not my favorite, especially if you're like a one look, one palette type of person. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and we'll try Mucho Happy next. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.